Other news tonight, motion denied. A judge denies a bid by one of the suspects in the deadly home invasion trial to disqualify another judge from his trial. Joshua Cummins, Jeske's attorneys, wanted a judge booted from the case because of things he said during the trial of the first man tried and convicted of the murders. Today, a judge also denied a bid to dismiss the charges against Cummins, Jeske. News 8's Ted Coffey has the latest. Just a few months after the conclusion of the first trial, the Pettit and Hawk families were back in New Haven Superior Court today for pretrial motions in the Cheshire home invasion case for which Stephen Hayes was already sentenced to death. This time, co-defendant Joshua Komasarjewski will go on trial for the torture and murder of Jennifer Hawk Pettit and her two daughters. Today, the defense argued that Judge John Blue had become too emotionally involved in the Hayes trial and should not preside over this second trial. But Judge Brian Fisher dismissed the motion, saying there was not enough evidence. The other major motion is for a change of venue, but that was continued until February 23rd. Other motions, including banning people in court from wearing pins for the Pettit Family Foundation to dismissing the capital murder charge against Komisarjewski, were denied. Judge Blue saying even though Stephen Hayes was already convicted, the state, in a case like this, can hold two people liable as primary suspects. And just minutes ago, proceedings upstairs wrapped up here in New Haven Superior Court. Everybody walking out. Nobody talking to the media this evening about how things went today, including the Pettit family or people on the defense side. They say tomorrow should be an interesting day. Not a great day for the defense today. All the motions that they laid out were denied by Judge Blue, including requesting that media not be uh, given reserved seating in the courtroom, also requesting that the capital felony murder charges be dismissed. The judge saying that they should have brought that up at pre at uh, evidentiary hearing earlier and not now. Uh, so a lot of matters still to be settled in this case. We're going to be back here covering it tomorrow. Meantime, reporting live in New Haven, Ted Compey, News 8.